So next step is navigation. Uh, we want to, 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 to practice navigation, but combining in the same exercise machinery uh, trainees with uh, crew pilots so that um, what the pilot needs is to have uh, machinery available, the, the engines and, the, and the, all the propulsion plant available, and it's, um, it's very good that they can, um, machinery guys and also crew pilots can be together in the same learning room and practice um, a common exercise. So that's what we achieve here. We have virtualized uh, bridge panels so that um, you can, with touch screens, uh, control your, uh, your bridge, your ship. And also you have an uh, environment um, um, like uh, emulating the windows of the bridge where you can see the, 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 out, out of the outside of the ship. So in this case, this is a frigate, but we are connected to uh, um, another simulator, which is the um, aircraft carrier and amphibious transport ship that we can see um, in front of us, which is this other simulator. You see the same hardware, totally different ship, but they are um, connected and they can do um, exercises um, where they interact with each other. You see this bridge has nothing to do with the, the one we have just seen. These are uh, pots propulsion, but with the same hardware, we are able just by changing the software to have another totally different ship. We also have the IPMS here and other uh, navigation aids like the radar or the nautical chart. We could have more modules like this and build a bigger bridge, add more windows and have the size that you want to have. Um, we are also connected to a, a third simulator that is displaying in the same exercise, which is a landing craft. The landing craft that um, is inside this amphibious transport ship. In this case, we are using virtual reality um, techniques. Here we have the, the craft. This guy is um, sitting on the, on, on the um, uh, cabin or, and driving the craft. And uh, in this case, he has, um, he's operating some um, switchboards that are inside this cabin and you can see he's opening that and he can even do maintenance tasks to learn how how the different um, circuits or, or different spare parts how to change them or how to operate inside this in, inside this cabinet but he can also go to the um, pilot house and um, and drive the the craft. This is just exactly the, the operator interface and he's got a really um, sensation of being in the real craft. Uh, there is a dynamic model um, that, um, that moves the, the, the craft as it would in, in reality. Remember that we are uh, shipbuilders and we, we have designed this craft and we just are able to introduce the dynamic behavior as it is in reality. So. Um, the, the experience is like being in the real craft. 